The government's decision comes months ahead of the annual 10-day pilgrimage of Hajj. Our holiest site, Kaaba, had been closed as a precautionary measure to control the spread of virus. Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to our channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now, we're going to do another reaction, but before we get into the reaction guys, I want to thank everybody out there, I hope... I want to thank everybody out there. I hope you are doing fine. I hope everything is going well uh, with your family and everybody out there. Despite the fact we are having, uh, despite the fact we are having this pandemic, I hope you're doing well. Just let me know in the comment section below if you're doing fine. And yeah, so today before uh before i even like start doing the reaction i want to thank the people who've been subscribing to the channel you guys are really amazing and also want to thank the people who've been giving us reaction videos keep on giving us reaction videos because you're the ones who keep you're the ones who keep us going and i feel like it's really really good you, you always keep us on toes and whatnot and also i want to thank the people who are so engaging in the comment section below you guys are really really amazing and Today we're gonna to do a reaction video and this one was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that I should go react to something shocking happening in Mecca 2020. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you are well. The world today is in an alarming state due to the current outbreak situation. Not only normal public visiting places have been shut and abandoned by people, but also authorities in Saudi Arabia have restricted entry into the Kaaba, Islam's most respectful site, in order to disinfect it in growing the virus fears. Last week, the Saudi government had decided to restrict the entry of all foreign pilgrims in an effort to stop the spread of the virus in case it was brought into the country by a pilgrim. The government's decision comes months ahead of the annual 10-day pilgrimage of Hajj. Our holiest site, Kaaba, had been closed as a precautionary measure to control the spread of virus. Perhaps it's the first time we are seeing Kaaba devoid of worshippers. The Kaaba's main mataf area is open but very high restriction in terms of the number of people allowed at one time and distance from the center, amidst the fear of the virus. A visitor to the Masjid al-Haram documented a video clip showing a flock of pigeons circling around the Kaaba in a non-circular way as pilgrims circumambulate around the Kaaba. Allahu Akbar. Okay. This is strange. Despite suspension of Umrah due to the virus and no people allowed after Isha prayers, Allah shows His power by sending birds to perform tawaf around the Holy Kaaba. Allahu Akbar. Tawaf will never stop. It is truly disheartening to see our holy place abandoned like this. Who would have thought that this outbreak, which began in November of last year, would now be such a threat to the world? Thousands of people have died, and more thousands have been infected, with no source of cure for it. Brothers and sisters, it is necessary for all of us to remember that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that decides the best and the worst for us. Make dua to Him and instill sabr in us and fight from this disease. Let's not forget and remind the ones who have forgotten that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what's best and He is the best of planners. No matter what, it will always be Allah's will which will prevail. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure the ones infected with the disease and ease the world from this situation. Amen. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Wow, of course it's gonna be uh, God's will that is gonna prevail and whatnot. But isn't this really shocking? Even after the 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 the, the government of Saudi Arabia or something declared uh, people should just you know stay indoors and 
so that they can stop the spread of the virus you saw the bars just coming out and just doing uh, is it the macabre or something like that that's amazing that shows how uh, nature is so sensitive and understands that um, there is God up there that controls each and every uh, living organism on earth and this is a show that uh, that, sh that tells you or maybe they just give you an illustration that there's, 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 there's a God out there you understand there is God who controls who makes you sleep wake up makes sure that the Sun comes out every morning and goes down every evening um, yeah so without a doubt there is a living God you get it so now um, the thing is um, it doesn't for me okay this is just a side kind of thing that I want to talk about it doesn't really make sense to me when the government itself just says to stop people uh, going to the uh, to the to the to Mecca or something or maybe to the uh, to all this um, to all this pilgrim and whatnot to either pray or maybe go to churches and pray and whatnot you know that's where the healing comes from I mean I'm not saying that's where the healing comes from but uh, that's where uh, when two or three people are gathered that's according to the Bible when two or three people are gathered he will appear amid his them you get it so I mean the whole concept of people coming together and worshiping or maybe doing the macabre and all those kind of things is to you know elevate the power elevate the vibration making the frequency going uh, go uh, higher and higher I mean that's where the healing comes from that's where you get it so uh, the government by doing so trying to isolate people trying to isolate people and, le and uh, letting people not go close to these uh, uh, you know religious uh, places and whatnot I feel like it's so unthought of I understand we have to get rid of uh, the virus we need to isolate people and whatnot but to me it doesn't really make sense even the religious leaders I think they they just acted upon fear you get it we shouldn't just do things because the government said it we should follow what the probably the Quran or maybe the Bible says uh, God is the only one that we should fear you get it it shouldn't be fear of coronavirus or fear of the government you get my point I I, I do understand that you know yeah we need to be safe we need to be all these kind of things but I, at the end of the day I feel like this virus is a is a sort of a, 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 a psyop I mean something that is just out there to create fear on people and try to make people go indoors and try to make people not do one or two things and probably it's going to collapse the economy and we are seeing it right now what is happening around the world i mean the economy is just going down slowly by slowly and i feel that is also um i mean the virus to me doesn't make sense i understand okay this is a coronavirus and whatnot but when you go deeper i mean when you go deeper and find out about the virus you just realize probably there's something that is not really connecting you understand there's something wrong down the line you get my point so a lot of people are talking of 5g a lot of people are talking of you know i mean there's so many uh, narratives out there uh soon enough you're gonna find out the truth i mean we're not far from the truth the real truth is gonna come out and i feel like uh, it's gonna be a truth that is gonna elevate the humans to to bounce back to a level of of becoming even more cautious enough uh through nature through you know the things because you know if you look at what we were before the virus came in we were so um we were we were careless we were reckless when it comes to handling uh things pertaining nature pertaining you get it um we are the only species on earth that destroys and it's it's, it's really shocking to think of of that actually because if, if you look at other species they don't destroy anything they actually feed on and then they can they actually replace it you understand for example uh, let's say uh, a cat or maybe uh, maybe a wild animal or something like that they feed on the on the on the 
on the plants or maybe uh, whatever thing they feed on and then they end up uh, you know uh, what do you call this like um, removing the probably the feces and whatnot towards the ground so that the ground can can have enough manure to prepare it for uh, for new plants that are going to come in and grow you understand but look at us we are taking out we are taking in the animals and we're putting them in the zoo that's why we are having what uh, is happening today I mean there's no enough uh, what plants around the world now I mean things are just going crazy and whatnot because we are going against the law of nature that's how I'm thinking about it. but anyway such an amazing video over here something shocking happen happening in Mecca I mean this should be a wake-up call for all human beings I mean and I know either things won't be the same after this virus or, or whatnot but I hope things just come back to normal but it's, I think man, it's gonna take time it's gonna take a lot of time until we come back to normal because the way things are going is just crazy and people have people are people are in fear like they're really really in fear we shouldn't be fearful we should just be uh, uh, people who actually see things and be critical thinkers and be able to see things in a different perspective as much as they're trying to uh, push their agenda and whatnot the agenda is to come together pray together meditate together and you know raise that vibration let the vibration go up there and help um let's help nature let's help god let's help uh the universe to come back to normal i mean this is a time that we need to actually go down and pray to god or probably uh, help nature or probably try and figure out things in a very spiritual manner anyway guys um if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in the comment section and tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction what you feel about this video over here and also i want to uh say that if you have any kind of reaction video just let me know in the comment section below we're gonna do it for you we're gonna do any kind of reaction video that you want us to do and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out